An afternoon landslide triggers a wall of water that took out boat docks and nearly killed people. The dramatic scene played out near Porcupine Bay on the Spokane River, dividing Stevens and Lincoln counties. KXY Force Jeff Humphrey got a look at the damage today. Jeff? And David, it's hard to believe that we could have a landslide in this part of the state big enough to create a tsunami. Well, that is exactly what happened. An alert couple from Spokane caught the whole thing on their camera, the very first thing you'll see in their video is the dust from the slide off in the distance. Wow, the whole side of the mountain is just falling down. You know, is there a road up there? It looks like there kind of, it kind of looks like there's a road right up above. Yeah. I'm glad we're over there. <laughs> wow, look at that. Look at what it's doing. Look at see. Look at the waves come up here. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god, that kid just jumped off the dock and he's going under it. There's a kid under that dock. See, they can't they can't get away from it, sucking them under. The, the, the sucking the kids under the dock. Yeah. Now the under. woman shooting this video, you know, Karen Mustard from Spokane, was camping on Porcupine Bay. When she saw that kid go in the water, she set down her camera and went to effect his rescue. I realized that the kids over there in the swimming area were getting knocked around a lot. So my camera started moving over there because I was afraid. And then the batteries in my camera went dead. I set it down and I swam out and helped rescue a little boy that was stuck out there. Now, this slide was so big, we decided to rent a helicopter and go up and give you some perspective of the amount of real estate involved. This is a 150-foot high sandstone cliff. The slide, at least 300 yards wide, took down a lot of trees and debris with it, then triggering that tsunami that, as you saw, traveled at freeway speeds or greater across the half-mile part of Long Lake, then slamming into the Porcupine Campground. By the way, that campground is now temporarily closed because of the damage, with other campers tonight being sent to Fort Spokane. Please take a look at our remarkable video. We have it posted for you on KXY.com. Reporting live in Lincoln County, I'm Jeff Humphrey.